friends welcome back to the channel and we've got another unboxing for you guys we will be unboxing this which is a diamond painting and we will even be unboxing this which is not a diamond painting and i'm excited for this i remember what it is because I was really excited about it. I haven't had anything like it quite yet. A lot of you guys might already have something very similar to what we're gonna be unboxing at the end, but I do not yet, so I'm excited about it. Well, we're going to start with our diamond painting. Both of these can be found through Amazon at Santa Direct. They have like their store in Amazon, so it's pretty cool. I don't know where my scissors are, I cannot find them. We're going in with a pencil. I broke the pencil. I stabbed myself at the end. Ah, there's a lot of paper in it. This is our diamond painting box and it looks really cute. I love the flowers they have on it. Um, And it has a lot of Japanese words that I cannot read. But if you can, here it is. I'm just excited to see the diamond painting itself. Whoa, look at the toolkit. It came with three pens and a lot of wax and the white tray. That's really cool. It looks like there's actually six individually cut wax. Um, Obviously you can see the tray and it has like the high ridges too. So it's gonna hold the drills in place once you, you know, shake it up. And it came with different size multi-placers. And I, I don't know why this one's clear, but it came with a three. I'm pretty sure this one's a 12 and this one's like a six. That's what it kind of looks like off the top of my head. And I like how it has the little blue grippies. That's super cute. I feel like traditionally with the pink pens, you get yellow grippies. But blue is really cute with the pink pens. And here's our huge diamond painting. Well, we got the drills out first. And we got these too. I did not remember it being a special drill piece, which is pretty cool. Being surprised with your own diamond painting, having it be a special drill piece is probably like one of the best surprises. Like I love special drill pieces. This is huge. So this is our diamond painting. Of course, if you are a returner to the channel, you know that we're about to take this to the floor. But before we do, I can already see where our special drills are gonna be, which it's gonna look so pretty on this huge peacock. I can't even get it onto the frame. It's a 60 by 90. Oh my goodness. And here are our drills. We'll look at these first really quick. Um, I'm coming to the realization that I don't really have space for all of these <laughs> to show you on my desk. So it might be best that we take the drills to the floor as well. As first impression, everything seems really nice. I do see a few hitchhikers in the bags, but really that's no big deal. Like, come on. One blue in this whole bag yellow. Nobody really cares like that's fine you know what i mean all these bags are packaged pretty nicely you can tell this is good quality stuff in the canvas when i pulled it out it was like it wasn't really that papery canvas back it wasn't the fuzzy back either but it was like solid it unrolled so nicely like it didn't bounce back into its how it was rolled previously so it flattened out super quick it had a thicker canvas pretty good quality and these drills are looking pretty good already we're gonna take it all to the floor for a closer look we have a ton of super bright colors and some super packed bags as well oh i really like that deep blue too i love how this piece has special drills with it like this isn't a full on special drill painting, but they included special drills. Like they saw the opportunity 
to make their canvas a step better than everybody else's and they went for it with just adding a little touch such as this do you guys like my tan line it's from my watch <laughs> it's really a burn line right now but yeah so that's how white i was before and it's a constant reminder looking closely at all of these still don't even see too many hitchhikers yeah i mean i saw one hitchhiker yeah we saw this one earlier i think it looks like there's another one in that bag i mean that's not bad and i really love how packed these bags are they're huge oh my gosh same with some of these blues but it's gonna be so pretty on the canvas and these special drill pieces oh they look nice here is our drill up extremely close and you can see it has a pretty good amount of cuts on it you can see that it's clearly still reflecting all the light that's being you know shined on it i've definitely seen more round drills in the past like of course they're round drills and all of these drills really had no imperfections like we don't we see that these are all perfect circles there are no little plastic thingies hanging off the side or anything and the amount of cuts that it has um, basically just means how many or how many surfaces that it can reflect light off of. The more cuts, the better, because that basically just determines how shiny your canvas is going to be in the end. All of these are looking pretty good. So these drills are pretty nice. I have been really excited for this. This is by far the largest canvas I have gotten from Santa Dry. I had to zoom out to just get it in the frame. This is what it looks like normally. I can't even show it all to you guys at once. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. It's huge. It is a 60 by 90. And that's, you know, the final image. I mean, you could clearly see it before too. And it comes with 28 normal drills and then the one special shape. So it's kind of like 29. And just looking at the drill field itself, it all seems very clearly printed. I know exactly where I'm expected to put each drill. The print gets like slightly bold in some areas, but not enough to like confuse me or anything. Um, where there are very bold letters, it seems to be the only one that's even kind of similarly shaped to that letter in the area. So I wouldn't expect that to be anything that might throw you off. Um, sometimes it gets difficult in darker colors because it's harder to see normally, but I like that they distinguish that between twos and circles. Like there's no way to get that confused whatsoever. But yeah, this all looks really good. And you can really see it over here, but there's still some shine on the canvas. I always love it when there's glitter on the canvas. Ooh, you can really see it right there. Wow, this looks pretty nice. And I love that there's not really like, like with all these question marks, there's no guiding mark around it, you know? There's only like a kind of a guide when it goes from color to color because of the square. So since there's no lines, at the end, it's gonna help bring that complete look. Also, um, since this is clear, um, you can really clearly see that it is a poured glue canvas, which also means that there's no like bubbles or rivers or anything. Literally no imperfections on this canvas. It's so pretty. When it comes to its stickiness. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's really sticky. It's gonna hold your drills for sure. So that is very good. So this is our peacock, by far the largest canvas I've gotten from Santa Direct. I'm super excited about this, but I'm also super excited to show you guys the other thing that we have to unbox. Wow, that canvas looked so good. But now it's time for us to unbox our mystery item. I don't, it's not so much of a mystery, at least to me, I guess it is for you. I couldn't find my scissors earlier. I'm never able to open these that easily. I don't know why. It literally has like the lines where you're supposed to rip and everything. I just somehow make it harder on myself every 
time. I don't know if you know what it is yet, but this is our mystery item. So it came with a bunch of little white rings and a whole lot of wrapped wood. So it did not come with instructions, which is okay because on the first book, it seems pretty straightforward, especially if you guys are gonna know what you're purchasing as like you get it. So you know what it's supposed to look like. So that helps even more. First impression with the wood seems pretty high quality. It's like, it's wood, you know? Um, it's very smooth and I really like the color. It's not like one of those cardboard type holders. I don't know if that makes sense. I have these virtual reality goggles, but they're made out of cardboard. Like when I got them, I was expecting something more, maybe like some plastic or something, but my VR goggles were made out of cardboard. I'm referring to that. This is the better quality, if that makes sense. Okay, moving on. <laughs> oh, it even comes with some trays too. I was not expecting that at all, but it comes with a lot of trays. I'll count how many, my guess is 16. But even feeling the trays, like, they've got the ridges. So these will definitely help to actually divide your drills when you shake it. There are 12 boats here. I was pretty close, I guess 16. I, I didn't pay that much attention to how many there would be. That's a lot, especially when I was expecting zero. So this is everything that it came with, all of the pieces and the rings and these boats. I'm not entirely sure where to start. You know, I don't know where I should start. That did something. We can make this like a tutorial video, right? We're getting a shape here. Um, what if we do this? Look at that shape. Here we go. And that is how you make the bottom. And then you can line them up like that. Mm-hmm. See, I knew what I was doing right from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yes. There you go. Look at that. Um, the only thing, that I just don't know what we're supposed to do with these pieces. So something here is wrong. Or, oh, nope. Look at that. It's even more official than what it officially was. Guys, look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. The storage, I can't. This is so helpful. Look, it's holding our, our boat. Cute. So although it comes with trays, I bet you guys are wondering if it will fit a traditional white tray with the funnel or even a green one as well. So I can take one of these out and they look like yeah, if it's this, you even have some wiggle room here. So if it's that perfectly, when it comes to stacking, I mean, we all know that these trays never stack, but it, it fits inside these bigger ones pretty well. And then with the little green ones, oh yeah, you can throw these on. You got so much space here. Stacking wise, it goes all the way inside. It looks like with the green trays, they have a bit more of height bit more height than the white trays it comes with so i know that that matters to some people because when you shake them you don't want the drills to be flying off but i still like to cup it like that so my like thumb is an additional wall and then i shake it and then i shake it like that so the drills are gonna stay in regardless um with our rings i'm assuming they're supposed to go on here somehow 
Oh no, I dropped that one. Ah, ah, that's one thing to consider. If you're getting, I'm, I gotta get the little ring out. Okay, I got it. But don't tilt it when you're using this for your paintings. They don't really stretch. So I know that they're supposed to stay circular. This is what they were for. I went back on their website. There's literally a whole video on how to put this thing together on the website. Why can't I be more observant? I did not do it the exact same way they did, but we got there in the end. That's what the rubber bands are for. Um, I should probably put some here and here as well on both sides because I have four more rubber bands. But yeah, so they're to hold it in place. And I really love how like it feels sturdy. Like, I could see myself using this long term, especially when I'm in the middle of a diamond painting. Usually I do mine color by color. I've never actually gridded my cover like in the plastic that goes on top of the diamond painting. But I do that because I don't like to have a bunch of colors just open. You know what I mean? But with a tray organizer, why not? I, I do feel like this will help me diamond paint more properly because they're just going to be stacked on top of each other and I'm not going to have like a row of filled trays going across my desk. Knowing that I spill them every time, it just didn't seem like a good idea. So I'll stack them like this. And on the website, this is listed as 16 grid organizer and there are 16 grids. You can count right here but there's 12 for trays. And then these four are, you know, included in a grid, of course, but they're to hold nine pens and they have different size holes for all different kinds of pens that you could have. So I grabbed a few of my pens. I'm going to stick them in our pen organizer and show you all that. Bah! <laughs> so here are our pens all organized um with the first three they fit in like the tiniest slot super easily just without the grips you could even keep of course the multi-placers on the back too and then moving forward in the medium slots i put these guys um they fit pretty well i could actually even fit some bigger pens in here i just didn't have very many bigger ones looking at it i feel like this one takes up the most space and this is pretty thick. You know, isn't that huge? But of course I could even put a normal pen in the bigger slot still, if that's all you have, you know, fine. And then my little glitter pen worked and same with this other glitter pen. And then even in the back here, I mean, this is thick for some huge pens. Like this is also very thick. It didn't fit in the medium, but it has a lot of space in the large. So it's very easy to get in and out. I was reading the comments and I'm so dumb because I did not realize that this opened. I, it was literally, I literally said that the mouth could scoop up the wax probably and drill that way. Although this doesn't do that, I feel like that should really be a thing. Did I just do something? I also asked you guys to name my fish that reveal will be coming up eventually on our official name of the fish. Feel free to comment any more name suggestions. Looking at them all, I read all the comments and I try to reply to mostly all of them as well. But sometimes it takes me a little while to get on and reply to all the comments. Looking at our last pen here, this one's insanely big. Like this is a thick boy, you know? So even in here, like, it stays. Although it doesn't fit all the way. You could have it that way too if you want, but it just doesn't fit around like this big middle section. So I hope that gives you an idea of what, which one of your pens that you'd be able to fit in here when you get it. But yes, this is our organizer. I mean, I guess that's all I have for you guys today, but Make sure you check out Santa Direct and all that they offer. They have incredible things and I've noticed an upgrade with some of their stuff too. They're getting pretty good. You know, it was good before, but it's getting better. Like I really admire a company that's always working to improve themselves. Like I feel like everybody should be doing that. That's incredible. 
but I will have the links for everything down in the description. We have a shout out for today. And today's shout out is going to Aurora. Thank you so much for, you know, subscribing and watching. And for everybody else, make sure you subscribe for a chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.